Hi, I'm Wes. And I'm Gemma. From, from Flying Goat Games. Games. And today's video is being powered by... The Comic Hunter. The Comic Hunter asked us to do a review slash uh, playthrough video for Descent, Journeys in the Dark, 2nd Edition. This game was published in 2012 by Fantasy Flight Games. Um, the biggest difference between the 1st and 2nd Edition is the 2nd Edition is much more streamlined. Uh, though it is now more of a um, skirmish versus type game. Mm -hmm. It takes one to two hours to play, and it's one to five players. So one of the people will choose to be the overlord, and he is evil and planning to destroy the world, and the heroes have to stop the overlord. Each individual encounter involves, it's already pre-planned, it's super straightforward. The overlord has a task. I mean, one of them literally is to roll a boulder to a door, and the hero's job is to stop them. Or, and I kept getting crushed on or, that one. Yeah, or, or not stop them. Uh, the game is really fun. Um, we tend to get into big immersive games that last a long time and we found this is really great to pull out um, and play with our friends. Just if we, you know, we have an hour or two we want to burn or even play people that don't play games. It's only, I think it's just over a three as far as um, the, you know, the depth of the game or the complexity. What's it play like? It kind of plays like Castle Ravenloft and all those other D&D games. Yeah, it does. It plays very similar to those, except for you can really build your characters in this game. Mm -hmm. So unlike those games, which are great, uh, with Descent, you get gold and XP, and as you play along, you can buy weapons and spells and extra characters or reanimates to go with your characters. Um, I can't recommend it enough, to be honest. If you're interested, look for it on their website. Um, we're going to do a bit of a playthrough right now. And we hope you like it. So thank you for watching and we'll be right back. Cut. Hey, welcome back. We went ahead and set up one of the earlier encounters in Descent Journeys in the Dark, second edition. So uh, it, this is act one, the Heirs of Blood. There at the beginning of the quest, there is a ton of flavor text, a ton of time. Um, and we enjoyed it. The artwork's amazing. We started with Religer's Rest, which is uh, encounter one. This is the basic setup. One thing about this game, each setup for each of the encounters is really, really clear. It's simple. Uh, the map, the outline, the monsters, the setup, and what it takes to earn a victory, whether you are a hero or the overboss. So this isn't exactly a how to play video, but more of, you know, what it looks like to play a couple rounds. So we're midway through the game. Gemma's the hero. I am the evil over boss, or the overlord, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, go ahead. Okay. Posture. The characters I chose are Widow Terraha and Ashiraz. So I'm going to start with Widow Terraha. So perform two actions. First, I'm going to move so I can get this token. Okay, and that's a search token, the green. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so if you land on that, you get to draw the top card from the search pile. Okay. Mm -hmm. Whoa. What'd you get? I got stamina potion. And 25 gold. That is awesome. <clears throat> it is awesome. Okay. So that is both your movement and your action. So this character is done. Next. Mm -hmm. Now, Ashiran. I'm going to attack. Splig. Okay. With my hammer. So a blue and yellow. I got five damage. Okay. When you roll a lightning bolt, I have something special in my light hammer, so I add plus two damage. Nice. So these are my monsters. I have a goblin archer, a myriad, which is like a fish shark creature, and splig. Um, the these are little dashboards for them. Um, for instance, splig has you know with a two player game has three movement, ten health, and his defense is one gray dice. So that's what I'll use. Um, everything in the game itself is really. It's, it's easy. I mean, it's all right there laid out in front of you. Mm -hmm. Even when it comes down to turn summaries, like how to play. So, I negate two damage of the five, so I take three. Yes, you still, th you still take three. Okay, and your turn still. So, I'm going to attack again. Okay. And another five damage. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, is there something in my this card? Play this, play nothing to help me. Okay, okay, okay. So four. Four damage. Wow. You, uh. First turn! 
I think no, that's awesome. Good job. Thank so you. I'm gonna take a five and remove one of those. Okay, is that all your stuff? Um, You've gone? Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna move my goblin archers. They have a movement of five. And I'm just gonna go to this side of the river because it shows a picture of a bow and arrow, meaning they have range. So the elite, which is red archer, will attack you first. That's no. one yes. No. Yeah, one yellow and one blue for 20. No, two, minus one. Yes! Oh, that's brutal. X, X, X. Yeah. So X, I rolled an X, which X, means X, I whiffed. X, I basically X. pulled my bow back and then, like, farted. I don't know. It's brutal. I missed. <laughs> I missed really bad. I don't know. There's a lot of strain on the bow. I'm not going to lie to you, okay? It happens to anyone. It could happen to you. Now, my friend, who is disgusted by what just happened, mostly embarrassed, wants to, you know, make things right. No, so, not at this point. It's going to probably shoot us now. Okay, so, great. So, I do four damage, and the, the numbers on the dice represent the range. Each little block represents how far. So, I'm definitely within I three. I thought I was doing good for a second. I'm attacking for four plus one. So, five damage. Five da Okay. Yeah. I get this one def defense dice because of my armor. Okay. Three. Wow. That's so still two. Yeah, okay. Oh, Just one second. All right. Uh, now, on my turn, I'll continue to go. The Myriad will go next. He is going to move. <clears throat> no, Splagel will move. So I'm going to move him out of the way. He has a movement of three. One, two, three. And. He doesn't have range, so he's not going to go. But I'm going to move my Myriad. When you have a monster that takes up more than one space, you pick just one of the spaces, and that's your movement space. So he can move three, and he is about to eat you completely. Uh, and I'm going to defend that. Good luck. Equal to help. Oh, this is a recovery card. I could use that next time. Oh, okay. I'm also going to play... Oh, I forgot to draw my card. I get to draw an Overlord card at the beginning of each turn. I'm going to play Expert Blow. <laughs> so I get to play this card when a monster attacks a hero before I roll my dice. The attack gains plus two and also, oh nice, and also gains one lightning bolt. So he is going to do his attack. X, 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 no, X, X, no. X, X, okay, here we go. X, 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 oh my gosh. Do you have any idea how big this attack just got? Oh, no. Seven. He's attacking for seven. What'd you do? <laughs> it's gonna take five. Five damage. But I'm still alive because of my armor. That's awesome. Okay. You. So she has a lot of these cards here because this is the characters. These are the characters she used in the campaign. So as she moved along, gaining XP and gaining gold, she was able to buy new weapons and armor. This is her little reanimate. Um, and this is a character she can play. Actually, she'll probably play this next round, knowing her. And yeah. so, all of my character, characters are void. I can move this goblin, but I'm going to leave him back. And uh, I'm ready to... I'm done. I resolve. Okay. Yeah. I should get my revenge! So first, I'm going to move her. So I can go one, two, three, four, which will still put me there. I don't think you can land in the water. I know it takes two extra movement to cross the water, but you can't stop in the water. So you would have to okay. stop short of, I believe. Okay. Or why can't you? You can go diagonal movement. Oh, yeah, sure. So one, two, three, four. four. Then next, I'm going to summon my reanimate. Woo! Now, i got to turn that card. Because <laughs> four. that's the card. Is it 40 degrees? <laughs> it's, it's 45. Okay. Basically, any any time you have a card in action or or have exhausted it, you turn it forty five degrees, and then part of your turn as a hero, you can forty degrees. You can what is it called? Uh, how can you fix these once you've used them? It's at the start of the turn, start of turn, fresh cards. Refresh cards. Okay. One fatigue. Okay, spend fatigue. I'll hand it to you. Thank there you, you go. So now your reanimate is summoned, and where? Um. Right across from me. Okay. So he can attack. Yes. Now, Ashiran's turn, mm -hmm. which is like theoretically dead, but she has to kill him, of course. So I get a yellow and blue. 
Yes, that's so awesome. Another X. <laughs> that's okay. awesome. I mean, no. I'm so sorry for your loss. These cards, these cards are um, immobilized, uh, poisoned, diseased, and stunned. Okay, I'm going to heal myself with a special card that I have. I spent one fatigue to do they it. You can't read from that. Okay. <laughs> I love the way you cradled it, though. <laughs> so I roll one red power dice. Mm -hmm. And... Okay. So you have to turn that 45 degrees, correct? Because you've exhausted 40 it? 40 degrees. 40 degrees it is. And <clears throat> I heal, can I have three back? Sure. And also another fatigue token. So is that caught, that cost an action? Um, that would be an action, that's why I did it, yeah. So who did, who did that? This character here? Yeah, she did. And are you done with this character? Yes. So that is, your, so you have one more action. Is that correct? No, I attacked you, missed, and then I did that. Oh, I forgot about the X. Okay, very good. So, but I still get my reanimate. Oh, right. Okay. So, it gets a red and a blue. Can he attack when he's first summoned? I feel like that one's lucky, That's though. That's a good question. Three, Whoa. five damage. On the elite? On the elite. Okay, so the elite has... I still don't think you can attack on your first... <laughs> when he's first summoned, but that's fine. Let's see. I blocked it. What? So, yeah. What? We yeah. still take two though. That's right. So it's better than nothing. This is what a round looks like. It's it's a really fun game. Um, <clears throat> final thoughts? I love this game a lot. Yeah, it's great. It's it's it is fun. It really is. If if um, if you have any questions, please. Leave. I can't believe how many times I just said if 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 if, if, if. forty degrees. If you have any comments, leave them in the. <laughs> Comment section. Stop saying it. Oh, it's been such a long day. Busy, busy, busy. It's summertime. Um, and also, please check out Flying Goat Games on Instagram. And please like and subscribe to the Comic Hunter's YouTube channel, which hopefully you're watching this on. Uh, if you're interested in the game, check out their website. Please follow us, and uh, I hope you have a wonderful day.